Fort Delimar and continued guarding the southern shores of Malta until the end of the war. Twice in its lifetime, it had faced the threat of invasion and lived to tell the tale. In 1964, the British handed over Malta to the local government, and this fort went with it. In the Polish countryside is the remains of a structure that history has largely forgotten. Not no house. Presents. Today we're here with the Not No House. Uh, can you please introduce yourselves and what you your part is in the band? Well, my name is Jake. Um, I play the guitar in the band. And yeah. Cool, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Krusty. Uh, play is that bass. Your real name? Yeah, it's my real name. <laughs> 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 no, it's. A, well, I don't know. I kind of try to escape it, but you can't. So I just been going with it. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I've had that name for thirty years. <laughs> True story. Everybody knows him. That. <laughs> I'd say Chris, but nobody would be like, "Who's Chris?" <laughs> Chris nobody who? knows Chris. I call him Chris, though, but I'm married to him. Okay. I'm Green Marine. I play keyboards, deal with vocals, a little tambourine, occasionally some cowbell. I'm Wes, I uh, play the drums and back up vocals. Uh, how do you guys know each other? Like, how, when did you guys meet? Uh, well, me and Krusty have known each other since we were kids. We were like best buddies for a long time, so. Uh, that's how we met. <laughs> cool. And I kind of came into the picture through a mutual friend, Barb, and uh, met this guy and fell for him. And Jake True. came out of my nuts. <laughs> True. Awesome. Bob. Got, like, and now I am on. here. I thought it was usually out of Vagina, but... <laughs> Just kidding. In this day and age, though, anything's possible. <laughs> uh, how long have you been a uh, bat? Yeah, about five years now. Five years? Uh-huh. Yeah, pretty close. Um, how did you start with your keyboard? How long ago did you start playing keyboard? Oh, well, when I was a kid, my parents made me take organ lessons, and, you know, back then, organ 
wasn't cool, you know. I wanted to play piano, so I'd go to my friends and play, play her piano over there. And then, like, later on, when I got to figure out how cool my mom's music was, you know, all those good 70s bands had this awesome organ and right. keyboard going on, so then I kind of grew an appreciation for it. And that's awesome. Yeah, so. That's awesome. So, um, just another thing I just want to mention, since you guys all have such long hair, do you guys know how much hair your money is really worth? You have to sell it for a lot of money. It's got to be a good chunk of change between. Yeah, I was going to say, your hair is definitely worth it. Yeah. Well, everybody loves it. Yeah. And like the curls are. Yeah, the curls are every. It's a super curl. But six years now, we've been growing it. Six years? Six years. Six years. How long have you guys been growing your hair for? We started this band. The guy was like, yep, shave. He was, yep. Big shave, clean ball. Yeah. For a long time, too. I like the long hair. I like it. Yeah. It's awesome. It's better than tuck on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who does the writing for you guys' band? Who writes the music? Uh, do you guys all collaborate together? It's been, yeah. It's been like a mixed bag of everything. Like, like, yeah, sometimes there's just some lyrics and then we just kind of take those lyrics, think about something, and write a song. Or an idea. Yeah, or just like so Sometimes we're just like... Warming up, tuning up, and just kind of warming up, and oh, that sounded kind of cool. Next thing you know, boom. Next Here's song. our next song. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, I got some lyrics for that. Just wait, just wait. All right, thank you for joining us today. We're here with the Not No House. If you guys could. Back to me. Oh, uh, so, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask him to introduce him. Oh, we already covered that. Okay. No, you can coming. stay. You can stay. Who's this guy? I was going to say, like, I was going to actually mention when I was watching you Skip. play, you look like quite the pro, because I don't think I saw your eyes open once the whole time you were playing, <laughs> which is pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how you know where you're hitting, but you, you rock it out pretty yeah. awesome. I like to play with my eyes closed a little bit. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Even, like, especially when we're writing stuff, I don't know, I just really concentrate that way. That's how you feel it? Yeah, I really yeah. do feel it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Um, well, that was my question. <laughs> That's a good one, right? <laughs> so, oh, how did shit. you... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, maybe the fire wasn't such a good yeah, idea. Back to the fire. Uh, yeah. This is this is fire. Day to fire. Okay, so, actually, how did... Uh, what, yeah, like, oh, okay, it. sorry. Uh, if you were doing jail time, which bandmate would you want as a cellmate and why? Oh, uh, Crossy, he's done lots of time. <laughs> sure. He's got experience. He's got experience. <laughs> he knows the so guards. true. He's <laughs> <laughs> done my bit. He can, smoke, he can smoke orange peel and everything. He knows how to do it, man. Okay, another funny question. What is your most embarrassing moment? In lifetime, on stage, anything? I had like one pretty good embarrassing funny moment like in fairly recent history that's worth mentioning maybe because it was up at camp and like leaving site or whatever and uh, you know I might have had three doobies left for like like a 10 day duration or whatever like like I stuck my, weed up, stuck my weed up in the camp and I had like three that's doobies tight. left for the ride back okay and uh, I'm coming back through security and uh, you gotta check out and I'm checking out, and my uh, electric razor, the button like come on, my fucking bag's vibrating. <laughs> and uh, she's like, uh, what's that vibrating, sir? I'm like, that's not mine. That's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, oh, there's this guy, him. he's like coming, this other guy, a stranger, I don't even know him, he's coming through security. He's like, He's like, oh, it's a fucking dildo. Ah! And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a bomb. It's going to blow. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck off. I thought I'd put in my fucking bag just to open there. Like, fuck it. <laughs> but saying, saying that it was a bomb could have, could have led to, like, kind of... Yeah, you can't say that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got a point, but... Wasted Wax Records. How uh, how did you hook up with the, with the degenerates over there? How did that all come together? Well, I first started just ordering records from them because he's got like such a great selection, so many great bands, you know, and I don't know, and then we just kind of got connected that way, and then Iron Tusk asked us, hey, you guys want to split on a vinyl? And we're like, yeah, totally, it's always, you know, kind of been a dream, so 
and uh, the waste of wax. <laughs> and Iron Tusk and I, we decided we're all going to go in on this vinyl together. So very yeah. cool. We have uh, we whatever we released a couple songs on Bandcamp, like uh, as a precursor or a uh, uh, for a single. Yep. For us idiots, what is Bandcamp? It's like a website. Like it's like Facebook for bands. Okay. Yeah, and you can go on to the Bandcamp site and search any kind of band. You can buy their merch, listen to their songs, oh, buy their cool. songs. It's yeah. really good for like, it's in, like, it's like, like independent a music people, thing. low end people. Oh, stuff okay. like Spotify. Ad free music. Ad free music. Yeah, ad free music. You'd like that. Ad free music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, you can I, actually, like, I've listen never heard to of that. a band. Otherwise, like, what's that? Spotify. Are you guys on Spotify? Not yet. No, not no? yet. Not yet. No. It's going to come up privation. It's just uh, yeah. timing and figuring cool. it all out. And figuring it all out, learning. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously. We don't know how, right? We don't know what <laughs> so we're doing. Yeah. Do. Do. Uh, how do we find you on Bandcamp? Go to Bandcamp and then to the little search thingy and type in the not know hows. And it's K N O T N O. Yeah. yeah. H O W Z. We'll 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 have it up on the screen. Facebook, we can all Instagram. friend you on Facebook yep. and stalk you and yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Out. Send your... send naked pictures. I was gonna say send send dick pics. Yeah, I already, yeah. I already sent one. There we go. <laughs> A dick pic? No. <laughs> uh, I said that as you were saying the dick pic. I know. <laughs> I'll do the dick pic and then you can say, wait, I want to see what you said. Um, okay, I had a question and I lost it. Very, very, very cool. Um, so, again, we, we, we have nothing figured out what we're going to ask you. So, um, uh, if there was one person in history, a historical figure that you could hang out with and have a beer with at the bar and who would it be, and um, what would you want to talk about? <coughs> Probably Lemmy and rock and roll. Very nice. Bob Marley. That'd be cool. And oh, me? Yep. Oh, sorry, man. This, you, everybody's got to answer these questions. Elvis Presley. Most ah, yeah, Elvis Presley. there you go. Oh. Very nice. Oh, Talking my to brother's King. idol. I think like. <clears throat> Chris Farley would have been somebody oh cool to God. have like great stories and he yeah. loved to party so I think it would have been cool to like hang out with him, with party with the guy yes. and hear all of his funny stories. Yeah. Well, I, I would go one step further, I would go back so to, fun. I would say John Belushi. John what do you guys <laughs> prefer? Do you prefer, prefer, prefer like floor shows or when you're on a stage or a festival? What's your favorite venue, like type style of, of, of gig to play? Dave's Garage. Yeah, it's good, all right. Yeah, <laughs>
Have um, have you guys found uh, what I've, I've found in the past? Uh, the support you get from other bands, from the scene, from I hate to say to promoters or whatever. What's uh, what's your take on the on the the scene? It's that? good though. It's good. It's healthy. Like you'd be surprised how many bands there is out there that we played with. Like, so many that are still even playing today. Be like, friends. Try to make friends. Nice. Like, good yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. Open hearted and open armed and, and we're sure, you know. Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 it nice. Gets smaller the longer you stay in it. What do you guys all do when you're not in a band? Do yeah, you got know, real sure? jobs. Yes. <laughs> 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 question. How did you guys come up with your band's name? So, <laughs> long time ago, because this, this is a long, this is a long, yeah, well, kind of, yeah. Kind of. Uh, since kids, yeah. we've always, music's been our thing. We've always wanted to be in band, so. The kids sitting around, whatever, partying, hanging out, and we all talked about being in band. Like, oh yeah. At this point, we didn't even know how to play instruments. Right? <laughs> we were just planning it out. Yeah. And then, okay, now this is the instrument you get to pick. Now go learn it. You know, kind of thing. And we were talking about it. And this friend of ours came in the house. He was like, "What are you guys talking about?" We're like, "Ah, oh, we're starting band. <laughs> you guys." You guys should call it the not no house because you guys don't know how to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much it's stuck, right? Like it's just stuck in our, uh, in, in our it's head. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It's it's brilliant. Like it's no, that's awesome. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Through this Halloween party years ago with our late buddy Rhett or whatever, and this other band was came there like to play, and we like dressed up. Like a band or whatever, like fucking we rock made, zombie and shit like that. We, we made, made a, fucking, a, big like a big batter out of a fucking bed sheet. Out of a bed sheet spray, spray paint. paint. And we made like the fucking, we made a fucking cut out of a fucking, out of fucking plywood fucking guitars and shit like that. And fucking nice. Yeah. Up. But Boss you still use, you use that colors. name that as your fictitious band. We were, yeah, uh, yeah we were, I had, uh, I had a air lanyard. We had a smoke machine. We had a strobe light. No, yeah, we put on this big thing and we played uh, Daglo Abortion yeah. and <laughs> Edsville. Edsville and Daglo. We opened up for the, Did the you real band. Did you songs then? Before? Yeah, this, well, no, that? that is so, that is such a fucking cool, like, your, yeah. your, your fictitious pretend band went through and became a real thing. For real. That is fucking awesome. We had them headbangers, ball went through. It was kind of, it would have been like surreal because like, like that day we like air banded Danglo and then we would have been playing a with Danglo. My first concert was Dolly Parton. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty freaking cool actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a country fan at all, but she put on a yeah. really good show actually. Yeah, really good. She's I amazing. Like, my yeah, very, very is. first show was SMFU, Farewell, but my very first concert was Metallica Blackout. No, oh, the, the the band whose name we don't say because they'll sue us. I had to leave the top oh. of the concert. Oh, <laughs> no. yeah. Sorry. I'm no, not no, a fan. No, no, no. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys, so you you probably done a lot of shows for free, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So with that festival, did you get paid for that festival? Or did they just kind of pay for your beer tab or anything like that? Or how does that work? No. no. Well, but you know what? Oh, we got it for so free. free. But here, we no, got it for free. Got to like see other like. All these other cool artists. And we get to play with another guy that we play with at Union Hall. And, like, we set up our merch tent, and we sold merch. So, like, you know, we still, what so it it's, is, yeah. you know, like. It's not like the merch, yeah. That's yeah. That's it's strange. always a win-win, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, and we had yeah, fun. Just getting out there and doing what you love, right? Right. I, I hate to run, but I do need to go. <laughs> well, thank you so really much. Nice thank you, yeah. So thank you great. for, uh, thank you. Thank you. It was You're fun. Awesome. Okay, well, take care. I can understand if you guys want to leave now. <laughs> I, I'm, I was kind of joking. I'm kind of hoping you guys want to stick around still. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, okay, well, I got, um, oh, fuck, I got tons of shit on the fucking ass. Okay, so, um, um, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? So with the waiting times in waiting rooms, if you go into the waiting room and you're waiting an hour to see the doctor and you see a guy eating an apple, is it okay to go and punch him in the fucking head? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Western I, medicine's I, barbaric. Yeah, it's barbaric. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even yeah. know. I don't even yeah. hospitals. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. It's probably a fucking GMO apple in fucking the first place. Stop eating those because that's why well, I think it'd be a conspiracy that you just they hire people to sit there and eat the so, apple. Yeah, and yeah, the it's fucking GMO. <laughs> that's why it's fucking sick. If I say here and eat this apple, the doctor won't want won't to see show me. Up. Really won't show up. Yeah. Maybe he does deserve yeah. a punch in the head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, exactly. 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 Take one of these coming morning. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm gonna grab a beer, um, uh, and then uh, I've got I forgot to do it. So we've got as I said we we do Emma's questions. So I'm gonna ask Emma's questions, and so these are questions from well, you've seen the show yeah. from Bobby's kid, seven year old girl. Uh, I'm gonna make you feel alright. Emma's question is gonna shit so right. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. What did you do? How did you react? What, uh, you know, if someone calls you like stupid, you'd be like, yeah, I'm totally down. <laughs> kind of like that, you know? Make it a non issue. Yeah, make it a non issue so that the bully doesn't get joy from bugging you because you're not reacting the way he wants. So I think that's the best way to do it. But other than that, kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You kick his ass, and then people will also see that you're not going to take no shit. <laughs> Stand up for yourself. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, when I was in grade seven, these girls told some lies about me. Like, you know, this shit always happens. Anyway, <laughs> um, the, the grade nine girl put me in a headlock and like, you know, and it just like scares the shit. Like the, these girls said I talk shit about this other girl. Why would I talk shit about a grade nine or like I'm in grade seven? Like, come on, I'm not <laughs> stupid. You know, I'm not but, begging for it. Yeah, but the great nine didn't know that, right? So she just come over, put me in a headlock and all that, like scare the shit out of me. Then I shit you guys not. We are at the Lamont Fish and Game Dinner and Dance with your folks, okay? Yeah. I'm in the washroom just like doing my hair and all that. Great night, chick. Fuck, grade nine bully walks into the washroom and I recognize her and I'm fucking just like, oh my gosh. And she recognized me. Hey, don't I know? I was like, yeah, we went to JV together. Yeah, you know, hey, you know and I, she was so like nice to me, and I was just like, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't have nothing to say. I was just so caught off guard, but yeah, whatever, you know. I didn't know how to deal with it at that time, but I suppose like some of the best advice that I have is just, is that if you're looking for somebody else to change their opinion about you. You could be waiting a very long time. In the end, you have one person that you have that's that likes you for you, and then you realize who cares what other people think. I don't really care. I have my good friends. Like you don't like me, then you don't like me. I'm quality, not gonna. Not quality. That's, yeah, right. And then that's eventually, you grow up and you just don't have to see them anymore. So yeah. there's that. If you're a superhero, what would your name be, and what would your power be? Uh, probably the ability to read people's minds and call me the mesmerizer. Yeah, <laughs> that's just, that's got like like almost like creepy connotations. So that's such pretty sexy. Yeah. You guys go first. <laughs> yeah. uh, you got one, Jake? No. No. Um, would either be I guess the ability to fly would be pretty cool or to levitate items i think would be pretty sweet to pick up like whatever you want oh no then i could just get my beard come right to me right yeah, now i guess <laughs> oh, i'd have to really think about a name and come up with one right away. 
You don't even have to never get up. You just sit. Uh, yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> for, and you for, can levitate yourself. Uh, if you lack know. of yeah, imagination, so you could be the levitator. Yeah, the levitator, I guess. <laughs> Floaty. Floaty. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go with that for superhero name. <laughs> Super villain. <laughs> In this day and age, you know, like, superpower wouldn't be too bad as, like, being able like, to see, like, germs and what they are, like, being able to, like, pinpoint stuff. I'd be, like, look at every door handle and see if it's, like, what's, what's <laughs> all <laughs> Are you Lysol, man? Is that a superpower yeah. or is that a curse, I was going to say the Germinator. <laughs> Sounds Lysol, like a curse. Man. Lysol, man. My superpower is. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up on deck. Okay, well, I probably want to fly too, but here's the other one. I'd, I'd probably just keep the name that I have now, Green Green, because it was my name from high school. I'm going to embrace. That's my superpower. But Why? then nobody, you're not giving away your superpower. No. Yeah. No. My superpower is, uh, has to do with like healing. So that's. So like healing, healing you know what that's the movie. first benevolent one that i've ever heard thus far where it's thinking actually about like <laughs> benefiting society and shit like that well <laughs> then there's all of us like me like i just want to pick up stuff <laughs> what do you do when you feel sad i like to always relate to music mostly but that's what i would do when i'm sad i like to relate to music for sure certain songs sing out to a person who's sad Totally. Yeah, like listen to music, play music, grab an instrument, or write a song. Totally writing, writing, channeling that into writing, you know, get it out of you and put it on there before a release and, you know, and then playing it when it becomes a song. It's like, that's so healing, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's playing with you guys. Like, that's really healing too, you know? That's fucking yeah. beautiful. Thank you. What do you do? You cry? But I'm sad. Well, I cry too. I, if, swear, I cry too. And a lot. If you have the opportunity to just talk to somebody because you find out that what you're sad about, like, you know, it's like you're not alone. Like, everybody gets into situations or whatever. And then the second thing to do, if you can't talk to somebody, if you got like a creator, like an animal, like a puppy or a kitty or whatever. <laughs> a little bit of kitty time, fucking never hurt anybody when you're feeling down. Yes. Cats, the cats are fucking are, like, are like, are like, are purring, you fucking right? snuggle, yeah, you're yeah, like, fucking like, start yeah. nose button, you like, hey, what's wrong? Well, it's, it's unconditional love with, yeah. uh, with the pet, right? Like, it's like, no matter what. It's, yeah. And they like feel your emotion, you know? Yeah. So it's like they want to, like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's very common. Too. Yeah, for sure. Very nice. And now, <laughs> mine's always for sure music as well, and I'm probably playing games too, just because it kind of turns my brain off a lot, and it kind of makes me like escape reality for a little while. So, very cool. Well, um, thank you guys so much yeah, no, for being you. here with thank us. You very this much. has been great. This is um, yeah. such an honor, such a privilege. This is so um, fun. We feel the same. For us. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. And, absolutely. This um, is so cool. Again, you know, like you guys spent the whole day with us, and that's it's, you know, we, we, we really appreciate it very much. Oh, we had a really fun day. Very much. Thank you for having well, us. Well, thanks for taking, yeah, you took the time out of your day just as much as we took the time. Oh, fuck, I got nothing day. else to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah, has no, been awesome. We had such a good time. We're so, like, honored that you asked us, you know. And oh. Pro, feel privileged, really, you know? Like, yeah. uh, I, yeah. We're yeah. glad to be able to play in your garage, like be one of the first ones here. Oh no, you yeah, popped the right. cherry. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <was> pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. And this one's called, this one's called Fool's Gold. <laughs> Oh, 